The great celebrity bake off for stand up to cancer, Martin Kemp gets a big slice of luck. Chart topper Martin was diagnosed with brain tumors back in 1995 but luck was on his side. He explains, they were benign but it's a flip of the coin. This show is a new way of looking at cancer and finding ways to beat it. And TV burp star Harry used to work as a doctor and knows all about fighting cancer. He adds, you get to 53 and your friends start getting cancer and it becomes real. This show is a new way of looking at cancer Martin Kemp I'm aware research has a positive impact on mortality rates. C4's Stand Up to Cancer aims to raise funds for research into the disease. Joining Martin and Harry are BBC presenter Bill Turnbull and comedian Royce and Connady. But TV judges Pruleith and Paul Hollywood still add some sauce. After tasting Bill's Wickham Wanderers football club themed cupcakes, Pru tells him, when you get a whole mouthful it's very good. And when Paul spots the footballs on top of his cakes, he chuckles, your balls look good. Bill chuckles, you're not the first person to say that. Idiaris is the great celebrity bake-off for Stand Up to Cancer airs tomorrow night on Channel 4 at 8 p.m. Dash. Carso's James Nesbitt got cold feet for a real when asked to drive a speedboat. The actor had to shoot a scene at 4 a.m. on the River Thames for his TV series Lucky Man. But he said, I was completely out of control. If you look at my face in those scenes, you can see I look utterly terrified. That was genuine. Nesbitt appears on Carso's on Thursday, on National Geographic at 8 p.m., helping to restore a 1959 MGA Roadster. It belongs to Irishman Billy Rogers whose son John and daughter-in-law Inat drowned in South Africa on their honeymoon in 2014. Dash. Jane, saving apes is Jolie Good here's Angelina Jolie enjoying some monkey business with Jane Goodall and a toy ape. The Hollywood star is a huge supporter of the wildlife activist and conservationist. Jane is the focus of a Phi LM on National Geographic tonight at 9 p.m., about her time living with chimps in Tanzania in the 1950s to learn how they interacted. Angelina says of her, Jane's helped us understand nature and our place in it. Now she's calling on us all to grasp that we don't have unlimited time to save wildlife and the environment. Dash. Supervitorize Sir Supervit? A campaign has started on Twitter to get Professor Noel Fitzpatrick a knighthood. Thousands think the Irishman dubbed the bionic vet should be recognized for all the pets he has saved in his clinic. But Noel, whose Channel 4 show airs Wednesdays at 8 p.m., said, The world is a mess but I truly believe that if we can look after our animals that's a good thing.